Hello, and welcome to Let It Drive. Starting in 2020, the company Comma.ai announced Comma 2. CEO George Hotz introduced what essentially is a plug-and-play driving assistant that makes your vehicle one step closer to autonomous driving. Personally, I'm driving over 25,000 miles in my 2019 Honda Civic every year. My car comes with the stock Honda Sensing Driving Assistance. However, it still leaves much to be desired. I did have some reservations before ordering the Comma 2, so I did some research and wanted to share my findings in this video. Make sure you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss any important info. What is Comma 2 and Open Pilot? Comma 2 is a piece of hardware that plugs into your car and is mounted to the windshield. It runs Comma.ai's custom software, Open Pilot. Open Pilot is easy to use and works similarly to your regular adaptive cruise control. Simply press a button on your steering wheel and it enables your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within its lane. And it does all of this much better than your car's default stock system. Is my car compatible with Open Pilot? Open Pilot is compatible with over 50 different vehicles and makes, and more and more are compatible all the time. Though it is best if you check for yourself using their website. Will Open Pilot work with my manual gearbox? No. Open Pilot can only be installed in cars with automatic transmissions. Can I mount the Comma 2 to my car myself? And do I need to do anything else? Installing the Comma 2 is incredibly simple. It will take 15 to 30 minutes to install, and you can do this yourself. The best part is that installing the Comma 2 does not require any permanent modifications to your car. All wiring can usually be tucked away neatly behind your car's trim. Keep in mind, the Comma 2 does not come with preloaded software. The software must be installed yourself. For step-by-step -step instructions on setup, go to comma.ai forward slash setup. Can I also drive without Open Pilot? Yes, you can use the Comma 2 device merely as a dash cam if you so choose. Do all my car's features stay after installing Open Pilot? Installing OpenPilot should preserve all of your vehicle's other stock features, including, but not limited to, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, auto high beam, blind spot warning, and side collision warning. Can I sleep or watch movies while driving? As fun as it sounds to be able to do this, and trust me, I would love to get caught up on all my favorite shows on the road, OpenPilot is a driving assistant and does not make your car fully self-driving. As a safety precaution, while Open Pilot is engaged, a camera-based driver monitoring feature alerts you if you become distracted or fall asleep. Be aware, the driver needs to have their full attention on the road and needs to be ready to take over at any time, should an emergency arise. Many factors can impact the performance of Open Pilot, such as heavy rain, snow, and fog. It is the driver's responsibility to be in control of the vehicle at all times. Do I need to keep my hands on the steering wheel? Compared to many stock LKAS systems that require you to touch the steering wheel every 10 to 15 seconds, the great thing about Open Pilot is that you don't need to have your hands on the steering wheel at all times, which means you can relax a bit on longer rides. You can, however, still make steering corrections without disengaging Open Pilot but, if needed, you can cancel the system by pressing on one of the pedals. What do I need to know about OpenPilot's integration with my car? Some safety systems are replaced or are operated simultaneously with OpenPilot. In some car models, OpenPilot uses the car's stock adaptive cruise control instead of OpenPilot's firmware. Also, automated lane centering may not work below certain speeds. For example, Lane centering does not work for my 2019 Honda Civic hatchback when driving slower than 12 miles per hour. It might become a problem in stop and go traffic, but I can still make steering corrections in this case, and usually I drive at higher speeds anyway. What if I don't like it? According to Comma.ai, you can try out the Comma 2 for 30 days and get your money back if you're not completely satisfied. Most importantly, 
OpenPilot is constantly improving and getting better over time thanks to machine learning. So, did I answer all of your questions about the comma 2? If not, please let me know by posting in the comments section below. If you would like to see more comma.ai OpenPilot related videos, please subscribe and smash that like button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss any new content. See you next time.